Red Leaf, Yellow Leaf by Lois Ellert. I've been saving this little leaf from my sugar maple tree so I could show it to you. I love my tree. It was born long before I was. The wind blew seeds from the big maple trees in the woods. They twirled and whirled as they fell to the ground. Seeds the squirrels didn't find lay sleeping among the leaves until they were covered with snow. When the spring sun warmed the seeds, they sprouted and sent roots down into the soil. Tiny leaves unfolded on their stems. I think my tree would have been happy to stay there forever. But one day, nursery workers came to the woods to collect tree sprouts. They transplanted the sprouts and tended them for year after year. Just as the trees were settling in, they were measured, marked, and uprooted again. Each ball of roots was wrapped and tied with twine. My tree was loaded onto a truck filled with other trees and delivered to the garden center. We went there in the fall and picked out my tree. Dad had a hole already dug waiting for it. When we got home, we lowered my tree into the hole. I held the trunk while Dad covered the roots with soil. Now, every night before I go to bed, I peek out the window and wave to my tree. When it snows, I hang up treats for the birds. Each spring, I look for signs that my tree is growing. By late summer, the crown of leaves is bushy and green. I love it when the tree flowers turn into winged seeds. But if you want to visit my tree, come in the fall. That's my favorite time. Can you guess why? The end. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Janelle's Read Aloud. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.